we're talking about grabbing notes here. You have a basic position where the hand is relaxed and the arm is relaxed. Uh, and you can fan your hand out, as you can see, in that one position. My wrist is not moving now. I can, I can cover, you know, a whole bunch of notes. Or in the left hand, it may be easier for you to see, you know. But my wrist is essentially staying where it is. But basically, the diatonic scale is something I want to focus on now, which is in the key of C, it's just the white notes. Now, if I say play descending diatonic thirds in C major, what I mean is like there are a third, an interval a third apart coming down that scale. Or say in, uh, you'll have to figure this out for yourself too, say in uh, ascending diatonic thirds in the left hand in D flat major, you have to find the D flat scale and then pick every other note. So you may say we're going to play Autumn Leaves, you don't want to... Like that, the first phrase, first couple phrases, you maybe you wanted to... that swing feel in there so you get a little bounce going maybe practicing uh, different ways of voicing the left hand you know you can add notes uh, also notes of those scales you know I don't know if your hand is big enough to do that that's a nice way of doing a major seventh or major ninth see what I'm doing there Lydian fourth. Now you notice before I was doing some inside, what I call inside motion. See, we have the, the end of the phrase. Uh, you can do this. It just came to mind talking about the 251 progressions just for a moment for a few minutes let's leave autumn leaves where it is and uh, I like to discuss that progression just from the, uh, the two chord of a given scale to the five chord to the one it's a uh, it's a way of getting to the dominant and back into the tonic of any phrase and it happens so frequently in in most of the, the songs that we play in jazz that you know it's very familiar time and almost all the, the cadences and the resolutions of popular songs they usually come in through a very often through a minor two chord to a, a dominant seventh chord on the five chord and then back to the one so say in, in D minor say in the key of C we'd be going from the two note to the five to the one like we did a minute ago so we go the D minor seventh to the five chord G seventh I thought I'd spend some time with you talking about the blues since it's the basis of all jazz music and uh, we in a few minutes we could accomplish a lot enough so that you can start playing some simple blues tunes late at night and stuff like that it's always fun to have that in your vocabulary and one thing on the piano of course we're dealing when we're playing say uh, chords going down like this it's not like a, a guitar where you can just bar it and slide right down the guitar. We're working with uh, a keyboard that's set up so that your finger's going to have to move in different positions for each chord. 
So I thought there's something that's really nice to know that everybody likes it because it feels good on the keyboard and it also sounds good, is making use of the inter interval called the tritone. And it, it works particularly good when you're playing the blues. And what a tritone is, if you pick any tone and you go up three full tones, a tritone, you get a tritone. It's an interval of a tritone. It splits the octave in half because if you go up three from this one, one, two, three, you're back where you started. So going up uh, either three whole tones or six semitones, one, two, three, four, five, six, you get the interval of a tritone. What's nice about the tritone on the piano and when it comes to the blues is that if you take a C chord, say, right, and you play, you want to play a seventh chord, a C seventh, it happens that the third and the seventh are tritone apart. So if you play like this or if you play like this, it's going to make a nice C seventh. So I thought, like if you take a, uh, for the harmonic aspect of the blues, if you take a regular 12 bar simple blues, say blues in C, you start on your one chord and you have the tritone, right? In the second bar, you go to, to the F. Third bar, you can go down to the five chord and then back. Now we've covered four bars of it, right? The fifth bar, you go to the four chord again. Back to one. Now the ninth bar, Thank you. 